Okay, I've had some requests to uh, show how to set up the uh, phone app. And uh, so I'm going to uh, try to walk at, through it. When you come to the main screen and you see this where it says configure, you click on the configure. And I already have this set up on mine. So I'm, what I'm going to do is originally you want to add a device. So you hit the add and you can import the device. And by doing that, you can set this screen up. There should be a uh, thing on your um, recorder that you can scan this and then you'll be able to import it right in. Um, that's one way to, to, uh, to do it. Um, I didn't go through that whole process there because I'm actually recording off of this phone. So uh, another way to do it is a manual adding. When you do this, there is actually a code there where you can add that, but you have to uh, set it up. You can set it up for your IP domain, and you have to go to your box and find out what that is. Everyone's different. You put the IP address. It could be something like 192.0, but you have to get that from your machine. And there's another place that tells you uh, your Meta port. I think most of them will probably be 9,000. Um, then you put your username, whatever that may be. Yours would be different than mine. You, you write that name in there. At the bottom, you put your password in. And from there, it should connect up, um, providing everything went right. These can be a little complicated. Um, I've had some just ask me to do it. I can't do it over an email. Uh, I can kind of show you here. The easiest way for me to do it is be at your computer and do it myself. But uh, uh, if you're trying to do it on your own, uh, this would be the uh, first step that you would do to uh, try to set it up. All right, another way you can do it, hit your manual adding again. Uh, instead of going by, uh, take your device ID, you can uh, use the ID instead of the domain. And in here, every DVR has a name on it, and it gives you the name of that ID. You you type in that name into that box. The rest of it, you go through the same. Uh, media port, like I said, again, I think it's all 9,000. Uh, put your username in, your password, and then it should uh, should connect again. And so, you know, that's what you have to uh, uh, do. And then you, you save that. I forgot to tell you on the other one, hit this save button and that'll save that uh, connection to it. And after that's done, you should be able to go back and go back here to the playback, not a playback, sorry. That's where you play back your, your recordings on it. Um, so you should be able to go back here to live and down at the bottom here, I've got mine set up for six screens. I have six cameras on it. And uh, when it's blank, you'll see a plus sign. You, you click on that and you hit this and drag that to each box, uh, like channel one. Uh, if you see, I have my channel one up here. I hit this and I pulled it and dragged it and dropped it into the channel one box. And then you can populate each camera as you go along. And then of course, if you double click on those, this will give you a larger screen of, uh, of your, your system. Double click again, it goes back to your, your box again. But uh, that, those pretty much are the two ways in this configuration is how, how I've set mine up. Um, I'm not gonna go to mine and because and, I've got it already set up is that uh, the import device that again is one way to do it. You can scan it there and that'll uh, uh, you know, give you your, uh, your code there. Uh, and, and should mine has it right on the DVR box, has that code right on the, on the top of it. Um, so you can uh, go, here's mine online devices, one that I already have up, uh, and th that's where that one, but just go to the plus and hit the manual setting there, choose the type, and uh, then that's how you actually set, set it up. Um, I know it's kind of vague, and uh, it's kind of difficult for me sometimes, because I don't do this off the top of my memory. I go in each time and figure out how to do it. You know, that's just the way I operate computers. I'm not one to stick it in my mind and, and can tell you step by step by step. Uh, I get into things there and I play around. Don't be afraid of it. It's not gonna, the worst you could do, not click it. You can delete the app, 
restart it again and start from the beginning on it so uh, don't be scared of it you're not really going to mess it up uh, but this this is my way of hooking it up um, I hope it helps you out some um, you know everybody has different so if this helps you out at all uh, give me the thumbs up and uh, I, I I hope to continue putting these on and hope I'm helpful and not too vague I'm not a teacher. <laughs> I'm just uh, someone that's out here is trying to help everybody out, get their systems set out. Um, you know, the uh, I figure there might be things that someone else out there might be able to show me. There's a few things I don't know about this system yet, and uh, maybe can show you. Another little key what I've noticed is when I set up my phone, uh, it will only work when I have it hooked to Wi-Fi. Uh, if you'd go out with your mobile data, I haven't ever got it to work. And so I don't know, maybe someone has an answer for that. If they do, leave, uh, make a video, leave some information on how to set that up because I really haven't figured that one out yet. So again, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, um, if you uh, are not a subscriber, uh, uh, hit subscribe to my buttons. And uh, also a little ad pro, uh, I'm a uh, Amazon affiliate. and. If you, uh, you'll see a link down below there, and if you click on that link, it takes you to Amazon. So if you're going to buy something from Amazon, do me a favor, uh, uh, just click on that link, take it to it, it won't cost you a penny, but by doing that, Amazon gives me a little, little kickback there from things that you purchase there, and just helps me grow my channel, keeps things going in that though. So, all right, hope I helped you out, and uh, uh, we'll see you in the next video.